Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is going to be the ride or die makeup tag challenge. I'm not really sure if it's a challenge, but I know it's a tag because Jaclyn Hill created this tag. She was talking about all the products she loves and that are her ride or die. So I really wanted to do this tutorial as well. I did recently see Kathleen Light's ride or die challenge, well, tag that she did and she did it as like a makeup look. So I thought I would do that as well because I wanted to post a makeup tutorial before this video but technical difficulties were happening and I just couldn't get that video up so I'm just going to get this video in instead. So yeah, let's just get started. So like in all of my videos, I already did my brows and my ride or die eyebrow pencil I guess is the Benefit Precisely My Brow pencil i love this thing with all my heart i love it a lot more than the anastasia brow wiz which you guys know if you've seen like my older videos i use that all the time but ever since i got this i have not stopped using it i can't get my hands off of it i love it so much it's so creamy yet it doesn't move from my brows so that's what i really really like and I love it so much. It's just so good. And then for my brow gel, I am always going to love this brow gel. I don't think there's any other brow gel as good as this one. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. I have the tinted one right here, but um, I usually use the clear one. I'm still testing out the tinted one, but since I don't have the clear brow gel packaging to show you, I just I was just going to show you this. But the clear brow gel is my absolute favorite. That brow gel holds my brows together. Like, I can be in a hurricane, in a tornado, and my brows will stay on point. Like, that brow gel is like crazy glue for your brows. Like, your brows don't move. And I absolutely love that because my brows tend to be like curly, which is really weird. So they just like, they do whatever they want. But the brow, the Anastasia brow gel keeps them together. So, thank you, Anastasia. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the face and I'm going to talk about primers. So the first primer I'm going to talk about, I'm pretty sure you guys guessed it, is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer. I absolutely love this primer for my pores, especially for my nose area and a little bit around my cheeks because that is where I have the most pores. This primer fills in my pores so nicely and it gives me a nice smooth base with I, which I really, really love. And I find that with some smoothing like primers the primer can tend to ball up when i'm applying it to my skin and this doesn't do that so i really really love that okay and the next primer i want to talk about is the nivea men's sensitive post shave balm thank you nikki tutorials for getting me hooked on this this is it's technically not a primer it's a post shave balm for men but this makes my makeup last forever like it lasts throughout the whole day doesn't move, doesn't get patchy, doesn't budge at all. And I really, really love that because I find that some primers tend to last like only about two to three hours for me or the maximum like four. So then my makeup starts moving everywhere and I hate that because I didn't spend so long to do it for it to move around. So this makes my makeup stay on all day, which I really, really appreciate and love. So next is foundation. And I know I just recently purchased this, but... I already can tell that it is my ride or, die, ride or die foundation. I can't say that. This is my ride or die foundation. I absolutely love it. It's the Urban Decay Making Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. That's the longest name ever. I hate the name that it's... Why is it so long? But yes, this is now my ride or die... <sighs> This is now my Ride or Die foundation. If you guys didn't know, my previous Ride or Die foundation was the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I was hooked on that foundation. Like, I used it every single day, all the time, whenever I could. It just looks so good in pictures and, and like whenever I go out, it looks really, really nice on my skin. But I find that this looks like a little bit better on my skin which i really really love it applies so nicely it doesn't go on patchy it doesn't stick to some of my dry patches that i have and i love the way it looks on my skin and it doesn't feel heavy because you guys know that i don't like like heavy cakey foundation and this does not do that at all 
So I am in love with this. Okay, so now for concealer. I mean, do I have to say it? The Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is my ride or die found, not fan lotion, concealer. This is the best concealer in the world. It's kind of funny that like, I like both of them. But I mean, if I love the concealer so much, I was so much. I mean, if I love the concealer so much, it was a given that I was going to like the foundation. But yes, this is my ride or die found concealer. <laughs> this is full coverage yet creamy and blendable at the same time. It doesn't leave me looking cakey under the eyes, which I really like because I don't like cakey. But yeah, it's super lightweight as it says on the name, but I just love it so much. I could talk about this concealer forever. Like I feel like you can apply a lot of product and it won't get cakey. At least on me it won't. And okay, that was a lot on my nose, but whatever. And it blends out like a dream. Like a dream. And I love it so much. Now moving on to my ride or die translucent powder is the RCMA No Color Powder. And I got this at IMAT in April. That's when I met was, yeah. And this is the best translucent powder in the world. If you don't have this, please go get it. It will change your life. This powder is so good. It does look, it's like really, really white, but it doesn't leave that like white cast on your skin, which is amazing because I know some translucent powders can do that and this doesn't do that at all. It also feels very, very light. Like the Laura Mercier translucent powder, I love. I really, really love it. But I love this more because it doesn't feel like I have anything on. Whereas the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder can feel cakey on your skin. And I just don't like that heavy feeling. But this doesn't leave me feeling heavy at all. It keeps my concealer and my foundation in place. And I can't say enough good things about it. Well, I can, I can say it good enough good things. I can say good things about it. And I don't need to apply a heavy amount. Because it does keep my concealer and foundation intact all day with just a little bit of product. The only thing I hate about this is the packaging. It, the packaging sucks. And I also apply it all over my face, no matter what foundation it is. I mean, with the Urban Decay, it doesn't move as much, but I still like to set my face because I am oily. Okay, moving on to my Ride or Die contour shades. I'm going to talk about the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, which is the <laughs> contour one. I really, really love this. I used to love the Anastasia one. I mean, I still love that one, but this is my... This is my everything. I love this so much. The colors are really, really pigmented, so you only need like a little bit. But these blend out so nicely. Like, they're so good. And my favorite shade out of the whole palette is this one. I really love it. Okay, so now if we're gonna talk like bronzers and stuff my go-to is the hula benefit bronzer i love this stuff so so much so so much this was actually my first like um bronzer like high-end bronzer that i ever got so it holds like a special place in my heart because i really really love it but it is a really good bronzer i love it so much i know everyone has this everyone and their moms have this but it's a really really good bronzer and i love it it doesn't leave me looking really, really orangey, but it isn't like really gray either. So I feel like it's right in the middle. I sometimes use this as like my contour shade, as like my contour shade alone, or I use it as a bronzer, or I can use it as both. So. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to move on to my ride or die blush. Can you guys guess what it is? Can you guess? Can you guess? Tarte Exposed. I love this blush so much. It's like that perfect blush for every day or to glam it up. I feel like it goes with every makeup look that you can possibly do. It's just so universal. That's why I love it so much. I love it so much. Sometimes I can go like 
Pam on this blush because I love it so much. And I don't realize until I look in the mirror, I'm like, okay, girl. If you guys guessed that this was going to be my ride or die blush, then you loyal. You've been watching me for a while. And I love you for that. But if you didn't, then welcome to the family. That's my favorite blush. I use it in so many tutorials and I need to stop. <laughs> okay, so now we're moving on to highlights. And I have so many highlighters. More than I like should, at least for me. I mean, I don't have that many compared to so many people out there. But I have a lot. But the highlight that I tend to use, like I go to the most, is my Becca Shimmering Skin Protect. Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I love this highlight so much. I actually have, including this one, I have three. Well, I got three because I love Jaclyn Hill and I thought it was going to be limited edition, but you can get it whenever. So I got three because I just, I wanted to have a lot. I love it so much. It's such a beautiful highlighter. And this is also like a highlight that can go with any makeup look. I feel like it goes with anything and any skin tone can wear it, which is really, really nicely because I know there are some highlighters out there that can be either too light for people or too dark, but this looks so good on everyone. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the eyes. Okay, so moving on to the eyes, I don't really have a ride or die product primer like an eyeshadow primer i do use the urban decay um eyeshadow primer a lot but that's only because it's kind of like the only primer i actually have so i just use it the most i don't know i haven't really found a primer that i'm just like yes you know so if you guys have a really good primer out there leave it in the comments down below and let me know because i really want to try one out as you guys can see i kind of just like apply concealer and set it with translucent powder and that's usually like my base i don't know i don't really have like a ride or die eyeshadow primer and the construction is starting <sighs> why i'll be back when there's no noise okay so now for my favorite like eye palette like eyeshadow palette is the morphe 350 palette this is my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette in the whole wide world. I don't think anything else can replace it. I love it so much because I find that it has all the colors I need. Like it's, I'm a neutral kind of girl, so this has every neutral you can possibly think of. It's like neutral heaven, and I love it so, so much. I'm obsessed. I seem to always dig into this palette whenever I'm doing my makeup looks. Not so much like on camera, like filming for you guys, but... Like when I'm just going out with friends or whatever, like off camera, I'm always using this palette. So for my transition shade, I'm going to be using, <laughs> I'm going to be using this color right here and just applying that all over my lid. And with, of course, my Sigma E40 brush, which is my absolute favorite brush in the whole wide world. If you guys want to save some money, go click the link down below and use the coupon code. The next shade that I'm going to take is this color right here and I'm just going to apply that to the crease I'm doing more of a natural look I'm not going too crazy today you guys know natural looks are my go-to's okay so the next two colors I'm going to take are this one and this one I'm just gonna mix them very lightly just to deepen out the outer corner just a little bit just a tad Okay, so now I'm going to use that shade we used for our transition shade. I'm just going to apply that to like the inner part of my lid. Okay, so now for my lower lash line, I'm going to take these two colors again that we use for our outer, outer crease. And I'm just going to apply that to my lower lash line. And now for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone highlight, I'm going to use the shade, this one right here. Now 
now for mascara, I'm going to talk about two mascaras. I love these mascaras equally. I can't really choose one, so they're both L'Oreal mascara. The first one is a Power Volume 24 Hour mascara. I don't know if that's like the actual name. I, I'm pretty sure it is. And the next one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I love these two equally separately they're so so good i love this one because it really packs on product to my lashes and i love this one because i can apply this as many times as i want and it doesn't get my lashes clumpy it separates them and i love that so i kind of always use these together at the same time so yeah now i'm going to apply mascara <gasps> This nose highlight is like intense, it's ridiculous. Okay, so moving on to lashes. My ride or die lashes are my Ardell Wispy Lashes. I love Ardell Lashes because they are really affordable and they're also very, very easy to apply. So if you are a beginner on applying lashes, I would recommend Ardell because the band is so thin and lightweight that it's so easy to apply. Like no struggle at all i love these because they're like they look like your lashes but better and who doesn't like them and my all-time favorite eyelash glue is the house of lashes eyelash glue this is super glue for your eyelashes your eyelashes do not move i'm not wearing any eyeliner today but i did want to mention the my ride or die eyeliners as for a pencil it is the nyx i'm dead i just read the name the name right now so my ride or die eye pencil is the NYX Face Art Glide On, Slide On, Stay On, and definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner. And then under that, it says, this eyeliner is so good, the name had to be this long. <laughs> I'm dead, I've never seen that before. But this is my favorite eye pencil because it applies really, really creamy and nicely on my waterline. I don't feel like I have to hug to get product out and as for a liquid liner it's the nyc liquid liner in black this is the best at least like the best drugstore liquid liner i know of it applies really nicely the brush is really really thin and it dries matte which i love okay so now i'm going to move on to the lips which i believe are the last step yeah so as for my ride or die lip liner it is the mac soar lip liner this is my favorite lip liner ever. And now for my favorite ride or die liquid lipstick is my Kat Von D Bow and Arrow. I've probably used this in all of my recent tutorials lately. Like, I think I have. I just really, really, really love this shade. I really wanted to get it because of Amanda Insing. She's like hooked on this and it's always sold out. So when I was able to buy it, like it was at Sephora, I just snatched that. And I didn't think I was going to love it at first because I did swatch it on my hand at the store. And I was just like, mm, I don't think I'm going to like it. But I can't stop using it. Like, it's my favorite liquid lipstick. And last but not least, I want to talk about my setting spray. So my two favorite holy grail ride or die setting sprays are my MAC Pick Plus and my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray and the Oil Control. A lot of people think that, like... The um, Fix Plus is like, well, it is like a setting spray, but I use it more to just make my face look less powdery and cakey. That's why I use it. I don't use this by itself. I always top it off with my Urban Decay setting spray because I find that if I just use this by itself, it doesn't keep my makeup on all day, whereas this one does. But I Okay, guys, so this concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed knowing my Ride or Die products, the products I can't live with out that i'm obsessed with so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel hello make sure to hit that subscribe button down below it will mean the world to me and you will become part of the julia romero beauty squad it's fun over here so come on join the family <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys i love you and i'll see you in my next video